Thank you, Stephen. Dion, thank you so much. One of the things I was reflecting on as I listened to your wise words was that um, you and I are both sort of recent arrivals in the House of Bishops. And it's such a blessing that at this moment of all moments, the House of Bishops is changing and changing pretty remarkably. Um, I'm a member of a class that entered the house, 10 of us together, half of us are people of color. Three of those people of color are women. So part of the change that you're, you're calling us to by God's grace is happening in our church and we have to encourage it to continue to happen. Um, and you're one of the wonderful results of that. And I am so thankful for your time among us and for your leadership among us in our whole church, Dion, thank you. Um, one of the lesser known things about Dion, to many people, but not to me, is that before he became a bishop, he pastored in a town called Brighton, Michigan, which is right between East Lansing, where I came from, and Ann Arbor, where, where the other University of Michigan is. So we're, we're grateful for your time, and I'm grateful for that connection to you. Stephen shared with me a prayer that he asked me to close with today. Before I do that, I want you all to know that um, tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we're going to gather for morning prayer, as is our practice when we're gathered together in convention. And as we do, we're going to hear Stephen in a different role. Tomorrow, he'll be our preacher at morning prayer. So that will really be the end of our, I think, of our of our thinking and praying through the, the work of anti-racism and reconciliation in Europe. Um, but we will continue that work in the years ahead. Thank you to all the folks in the task force for this excellent work. And I wanna echo this encouragement. When the survey comes around, please help us learn who we are by participating and answering on your own or with some help from others. Um, so that we can say to the church, not just who we're not, but who we are in all of our blessed diversity. With that, I want to offer us this prayer, and you'll see that there are words that are suggested for you to pray with me. In hope that the arc of history bends toward justice, we lift up our prayers for racial healing, saying, bind us together, O God of love, for the church that its prophetic voice may proclaim to all the challenge to break the hopeless cycles of poverty, ignorance, prejudice, and despair, which degrade the sacred dignity of humankind. We pray, bind us together, O God of love, for the countries and places where we live, that we might celebrate our racial diversity and the distinctive and rich contributions of all people we pray, bind us together, O God of love, for wise and decisive actions by those who govern, that the scandal of racism may be eradicated from our societies, we pray, bind us together, O God of love, for an end to the subtle racism of economic oppression, which permeates the structures of our world and resides in many hearts, we pray, Bind us together, O God of love, for the victims of racial discrimination, that they may be filled with hope for a more just future, that they may be healed from wounds received, and that they will be filled with grace to overcome hatred with love. We pray, bind us together, O God of love, for those who work for racial justice, that they may be sustained in hope, empowered with courage to advocate for change and for peace, and filled with the grace to persevere in love. We pray, bind us together, O God of love, for all who have died as victims of injustice, violence, and hatred, that they may have a place at the banquet of eternal life. We pray, bind us together, O God of love. God of righteous dreaming, Give us an enlarged imagination to dream new possibilities, to imagine a world where transformation will happen, where creation is mended and restored, 
and where exiles and strangers can find a home and live in peace. Give us overflowing and extravagant hearts so that our whole lives may be full of love and mirror your dream and promise of goodness and abundance. To all this, let the church say, Amen. Bless you all. Thank you for this day. Bishop Dion, thank you for being with us all the way over here in Europe. We bless you and we pray for you in Missouri and for all your people there. Thank you to all who have been part of this whole day. We will regather together as the convention resumes.